The trick with all calculations in chemistry is to start from first principles. We know two time of flight equations. The first is that time is equal to the distance divided by the velocity. And the second is that the kinetic energy of an ion travelling through the spectrometer is equal to half its mass times the square of its velocity. This question has asked us to calculate the length of the flight tube, which means what we've been asked to find is d, the distance. Rearranging the first equation gives us distance equals time multiplied by the velocity. Uh, we have the time. They gave it to us in the question. It is 2.42 times 10 to the minus 5 seconds. And we can calculate a value for the velocity. The second equation, kinetic energy equals half the mass multiplied by the square of the velocity, can also be rearranged quite simply to give us velocity equals the square root of twice the kinetic energy divided by m, the mass. Once again, we know the kinetic energy, 2.95 times 10 to the minus 16 but we need to figure out the mass of a single rubidium-87 iron in kilograms. One mole of rubidium-87 has a mass of 87 grams per mole. In order to find the mass of one single ion, I need to divide that by Avogadro's number, the number of things in a mole. So that would be 87 divided by 6.02 times 10 to the 23. And when you plug that into your calculator, it comes out at 1.445 times 10 to the minus 22 grams. I need to convert that into kilograms, so to do so, I'm going to multiply by 10 to the minus 3. And when I do that, my answer comes out to 1.445 times 10 to the minus 25 kilograms. Now we're in a position to pull all this together and actually figure out the answer. So distance is equal to time times velocity. Or we could say that distance is equal to time multiplied by the square root of twice the kinetic energy divided by the mass of a single ion. So that would be 2.42 times 10 to the minus 5 multiplied by the square root of, or twice the kinetic energy, 2.95 times 10 to the minus 16, just about squeeze that in, divided by the mass of a single ion, 1.445 times 10 to the minus 25 kilograms. And when you plug all that into your calculator, it comes out at 1.55 metres. You can find notes as well as practice questions and answers at Crunch Chemistry. Just search for mass spec.